So if we want to fix uh, Medicare, <clears throat> and it, um, you know, um, perhaps the biggest chunk of our healthcare system, um, I'll give you a chance to say something nice about somebody. Does Mitt Romney have the right idea on fixing Medicare? He wanted a pretty good step in the right direction. And frankly, if you look at the new Ryan Wyden bill, it is a significant step in the right direction. Uh, it allows people to have choices. It's an improvement over, and then Paul Ryan admits this because he, he introduced this new bill. It is a new, it's an improvement over the original effort because it allows you to stay in current Medicare if you want to. But it also allows you to go into other forms and other models. And I think that was important. The, the original effort said, Current Medicare basically would be phased out. I think people found that very sober. Now, the challenge to doctors and hospitals is current Medicare then has to become price competitive if there are other new models. The other thing it did is instead of setting a national government formula, it's, it set a market-based formula that would evolve based upon, upon competitive bid. So you actually would be experiencing in reality what things cost annually when you bid them out and you wouldn't have some kind of bureaucratic effort to anticipate it. You know, this is particularly true, if you think about it, rural America really gets hurt by the way Medicare and Medicaid are rigged because they're rigged towards big cities. I mean, if, if you practice brilliant medicine um, in rural America, you get paid less than if you practice bad medicine in Miami or Los Angeles or Chicago or New York. I mean, so we overpay for health care in New York, and we underpay for health care in New Hampshire. And, this, and then we wonder why it's harder to find doctors in rural America while well, we overpay them as long as they live in a big city. If um, uh, an article in Forbes magazine recently described uh, Ryan Wyden as <clears throat> the old Ryan plan with a public option, which uh, raises sort of an interesting question, uh, probably an answer to, but why is a public option okay in Medicare reform, but it was a bad idea in Obamacare? Because in Medicare reform, you were moving away from 100% government monopoly. In Obamacare, you're moving towards 100% government monopoly. And you currently have a government monopoly called Medicare. And the, the best, safest way politically to move away from that monopoly is to create the right to choose, but not to force people out of the system. And, and, I, and I've said at the time, I got some arguments about it, I think you try to force people out of the system, they will get very upset. You give them the right to choose to come out of the system, you might be surprised how many choose. Uh, 